it's definitely like an amalgamation of different uh, qualities. Uh, a very obvious one is like how deeply have they thought about the thing that they've that they're doing, right? Like they should be able to answer any question you've posed to them and be, have like a really thoughtful, meaningful answer. And you, sh uh, you should be able to like really engage and have a deep conversation around their topic. Uh, so that's one big thing. Uh, second thing, which is, I guess a little personal, but maybe leads to a better entrepreneur is like, yeah, you know, how much do I want to like talk to this person? Like if, you know, one of the implicit promises I'm making is if I invest in someone and they send me an email and say like, yeah, they're like, it's 6 p.m. and they need some advice and they're like, hey, can I have a call? I will say yes, right? So like, I really want to invest in someone where I can say yes and like look forward to that conversation. Whereas like, you know, often there isn't a chemistry where I'm like, okay, you know, this person I actually want to talk to and I would enjoy talking to. So that's that's element number two. I think the third one is like perseverance. Um, you know, how, where have they shown previous ability to like really grind through and fight through things and like, you know, overcome obstacles. Uh, it doesn't have to be an entrepreneurial thing. Like, you know, maybe they launched something else or maybe, maybe the athletes at school, right? Like it can be a lot of different things, but I do think like uh, being an entrepreneur can be a real grind and like, you know, you can feel like the whole world is kind of against you. So how do you, how, where have you shown that you can like overcome that and have like kind of strong fortitude? Um, those are probably like three things. Uh, I think the other one that's like kind of related to the idea space is like, uh, I really want to understand where they see the future and like, and that do they have like a strong kind of, kind of ethical and worldview that like is, is in line with mine and in line with that idea, if that makes sense, like, you know, People don't like, I can have what I think the idea should get to, but if they have a very different view of like where they want to take their idea, then, you know, which is fine. They should have their own view. Uh, but I want to make sure I'm not pretending that their view is my view, which I've done in the past as an investor. Like sometimes I, I have an idea and I, I, I push that idea on other people and I think that they have it, but they have a completely different idea. <laughs> Hey Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.